All right, today we are going over my five favorite shoulder exercises, and these will cover all head of the dads for that 3D look. So if you are ready, let's see the first one. Dumbbell shoulder press. This is going to hit the middle and the front dad. Yes, even the middle dad. You want to get a lower bench angle. And the reason is pretty simple, because you are going to arch if the angle is too high, and you are going to put yourself in the same position as if you were to angle it down, and from here, you don't have to arch. So this is going to be a more stable setup. You also want to make sure that your elbows are not out to the side, but you are angling them a tiny bit forward. It is called a scapular plane. And it's only because your shoulder prefer this position to push. But it doesn't mean that the other position is going to be inherently dangerous. But most people, they just find it uncomfortable. The biggest mistake I see here is only going halfway down, and then from here, pushing it up again. You want to go all the way down, see the dumbbells are touching your shoulder, and from here, push it all the way up. You see, this is the part what you are training with this exercise. So if you never go down there, you are never truly training the front and middle that with this exercise at least. Smith's machine, shoulder press. This is still going to train the front and middle there, but the main reason I like it is the stability what the dumbbells can provide. Again, same principle here. You want to get an angle with the bench so you don't have to arch and go all the way down, but keeping your elbow from off your body. And then pushing it all the way up. You don't have to dead stop before you reach lockout. reason I never advise anybody to stop before lockout is because time under tension has no relation to hypertrophy or how much muscle you can build. So it is better if you are moving for a full range of motion. Cable crossbody lateral raise. You will need a narrow cable setup and this will hit the lateral head of your shoulder and the setup is pretty simple. Get the pulley all the way down and have a cross grip on the cable. I also prefer having a thumbs up grip, but then again, this is just preference. From here, you can turn any way. You can face the cable, you can face the other way, lean a tiny bit forward and just raise your arms in an angle forward and imagine you are pushing your elbows away from your body. And this is going to train your shoulder in the mid to short position. So that is going to be when your arm is raised out to your side. Another one using the cable, hitting the middle there, but this time, it is going to train the lengthen, or more like the stretch position of your middle desk. And for this, all you need to do is raise the pulley around wrist height. And again, this is just preference. I usually prefer a thumb up grip because that is just more comfortable for my shoulder. And from here, you can take a step back. And this is the part that it is going to train. It's going to be the lengthen middle part. And you can either keep the cable in front of your body or behind your body. But I feel like for most people with like dodgy shoulders, keeping it in front of your body, it is already in a better position to start. From here, it is still a lateral raise. So all you are going to focus on is bending a tiny bit forward and raising the cable out to your side. This bottom part is going to be the hardest one. This is what you have to overcome. And at the top, there's not going to be much tension because as you can see, the cable is almost parallel with my shoulder. And lastly, my absolute favorite way to train the rear dad, it is going to be the lengthened cable rear dad pull. And I know the name sounds fancy, but the setup is pretty simple. You need to set the cable around the arm's reach height. And since you know that it is a lengthened exercise, you need your rear dad to be stretched and that's going to be the hardest part to overcome. So it's going to be this position. And for that to happen, you need to be perpendicular to the resistance. So instead of facing the cable, you are going to face away and the non-working shoulder is going to face the cable. This is going to be the position what you have to overcome. So once you pass this point, this is the hardest. After this, this is easy. You are parallel with resistance. The only thing you want to make sure is that you are controlling the negative. More importantly, I want you all to do these exercises in the 5 to 10 rep ranges. No need for pump or burn, just work the muscle well and reach close proximity to failure or sometimes even failure. And once you can hit the upper end of the rep range, just increase the weight. And I can guarantee your shoulders are going to grow. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to comment, like, share, subscribe 
If you are struggling with your abs, watch this video next. For coaching, with the link in the description. Talk to you soon.